Ladies and gentlemen of the cardboard community, this is Easy Walker coming to you with probably my most favorite deck of all time, Gladiator Beast. <laughs> Gladiator Beast are an amazing, amazing deck. I would almost consider it rogue depending on how you play it. I have enjoyed Gladiator Beasts for the better part of, I guess, 12 years, maybe. However long it was since they released. I mean, the only other deck that competed any, in any kind of means with the Gladiator Beast deck was Black Wings way back when, when they came out. These decks were competitive with one another. Like, if you ran Black Wings against Glad Beast, it was like you were facing head to head in one of the best matches you could play. But I've always enjoyed Glad Beast. This was the only deck I ever kept from my original collection. Uh, a lot of the cards are max rarity apart from the ultimate rares which are stupid expensive but who knows one day maybe i'll get some moderately played or hopefully some good condition ultimate rares so without any further ado here is the glad beast profile Alright, this is pure Glad Beast. There's no special engines in this version of the deck. I do have the Tri Brigade engine, so I will be posting my Glad Brigade profile later into the future. I'm doing some fine tuning with some cards. I can't decide I want to play or not, so we'll see how that goes in the future. But to get started with this pure Glad Beast profile, Let's get into it right now with your first and main normal summon is Rescue Rabbit. Rescue Rabbit, for those who do not know, is this card can be banished from your side of the field to special summon two level four mo normal monsters to your side of the field. This is your go-to card for the next card in our profile, which is Gladiator Beast Ondale. Ondale is your level four normal monster that you special summon off Rescue Rabbit. Uh, Ondale's basically, he's just, he's a normal monster, but he is a Glad Beast name. The only thing apart from him and any other Glad Beast monster is when he does do battle, he does not shuffle himself back into the deck like all the other Glad Beasts do. So, three of him to go with the three Rescue Rabbits. I run in my pure variant two Gladiator Beast Bastaris. Uh, Bastari is back row hate special summon, but oh my focus, my focus. There we go. Bastari special summon by Gladiator Beast Effect, which is basically your tag out for Gladiator Beast profile, profile Gladiator Beast Monsters. One attacks if it survives the battle. You shuffle it into your deck to special summon another gladiator beast. That's all inherent except for Ondale. All inherent effects for the glad beasts for the most part. They just have different secondary effects. The Staris is when he is special summoned with that effect, you destroy a one back row. So that's why we run two Bastaris. Also run two Darius. A lot of people who do play Glad Beast do not run two, but I have a card in my extra deck that works very well with Darius and another monster in the graveyard because Darius' effect, apart from the whole tag out, when he's special summoned by a Gladiator Beast effect, tag out, uh, you can bring back any Gladiator Beast from your graveyard. So it's basically Monster Reborn, but their effect's negated. So, basically, want to fusion summon, sing, uh, or uh, tag fuse with them. So, but we run two of them because of a card that's in the extra deck that helps initiate your your main combo. I run one 
Questy. Questy, uh, basically when he is special summoning Glad Beast effect, you can add any one Gladiator Beast card from your deck to your graveyard. You'd want to use him to recycle your uh, Gladiator Beast comeback. That would be the main card you want to search for or get back from the graveyard to hand. One of Torx. A Torx is basically like your uh, elemental little Prisma that Glad Beast used to run away back in the day. Prisma, or excuse me, uh, a Torx special summoned by Gladiator Beast effect sends one Gladiator Beast to the graveyard and it copies its levels. So you could send a level 8 uh, Gladiator Beast Augustus. Your level 4 Torx turns into a level 8. It helps with your uh, Tamer Editor plays, which is really the main combo of the Glad Beast deck. Uh, one Vespasius. Vespasius is basically your Glad Beast hand trap kind of sort of thing. But if the Gladiator Beast does battle with an opponent's monster, you can special summon him to your side of the field. He doesn't. He is the only Gladiator Beast that does not have a if special summoned by Glad Beast effect. Like you special summon him if your Glad Beast does battle, and then he increases the attack of all. Uh, Beast Warriors Beast. I think it's Wing Beast too. Let me see. Uh, all monsters you control. So all monsters you control gain 500 attack. So you get a little boost during the battle phase. And like I said, with uh, the Torix, I run two Augustus just for that one that target with the Torix to send it to grave to at its level. But Augustus's special summon by Glad Beast effect is when he is special summoned with that effect, you can special summon any Gladiator Beast card from your any any Gladiator Beast monster from your hand to your side of the field. And because it's a Gladiator Beast, its effect counts. So if you have if you can tag out one of your other monsters for Augustus, and you have Augustus in your hand, you could trigger. Target Augustus in your hand, special summon it, and then you can use its effect again if you have another uh, Gladiator Beast. So you can easily swarm your field if you have enough Glad Beast in your hand. A staple for any pure Glad Beast uh, is Test Tiger. Test Tiger is like, it's, it's an extender, it's free. So you gotta have them. You gotta have them. It's, it, it makes your normal something you, like if you and I'll test tiger. That's that's uh, test panther easy. Uh, wouldn't mind having the ultimate rares of these, but those are few and far between to come come by because this card is so old. But I'm happy with my ultimate rares from uh, Gladiator's Assault. So enjoy those. Uh, On to hand traps. Three Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom is very good at this format, so if you can main deck it, you main deck it. That's all there is to that. Uh, another good hand trap this format. Suffering Gamma and the Brick. This, 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 this hand trap is the best hand trap in Glad Beast because I'm gonna go back through the through the, the stack of profile cards. Because if you normal summon Rescue Rabbit, you have Gamma in your hand. You banish Rescue Rabbit. Rescue Rabbit's no longer on the field. He's banished. So if your opponent tries to ash your Rescue Rabbit, you can Gamma that ash and still get your search off with Rescue Rabbit. Because technically, based on ruling, Rescue Rabbit's banished, so he's not on the field. So you can gamma the ash and, and still get your search off. So, oh, uh, gamma also will work for unexpected die because you still don't have a monster on your side of the field. So if they try to ash your unexpected die, you can still gamma that. The last one of in the deck is uh, Statue of Storm uh, Stormwinds. Like, glad these are. They're not great. They're good. They're fun. 
But if your opponent can get locked out of their deck, locked out of their summons, at least for one battle phase, go for it. Yeah, that's it for the monsters. So now we'll uh, spells and traps. Well, it's all spells. There's no traps in this deck. Come back, come back is free. Monster reborn, not once per turn. Uh, also, if you do bring back a gladiator beast uh, with this card, it can't be destroyed by battle. So, I mean, you can bring back any monster. It can't be destroyed by battle. You attack, sacrifice life points, tag out for the next turn to to your combos. You have to have come back any gladiator beast deck. Uh, gladiator rejection. This card is. It's good for what it is, but it is like super meh because it's a gladiator card. It's not gladiator beast card, but what it does is you activate it. If you special summon a gladiator beast from your deck, from your deck, be it rescue rabbit, getting on Dale, be it unexpected die, getting on Dale, and obviously the tag outs. Uh, you get to special summon a gladiator beast card from your deck but it doesn't get its effect because this is a gladiator card it gives you a free extender but maybe during main phase 2 if, it, if, if the monster you summon attacks and lives it's worth it but it being an extender makes it very good free proving ground basically your rota for Gladiator Beast, any one level four from your deck to your hand. Uh, this card in Ondel is very good. Like with with this Gladiator Beast deck, you would think that um, drawing into two Gladiator Beast Ondels is is brick. This could actually be close to. You you could you could uh, barrier statue with these two cards, just these two. So, but the proving ground, your main search is going to be on Dale. So, okay. Next one, unexpected die. As you can see, like this deck mainly focuses around getting Ondel on the field as soon as possible for the most part. Uh, <coughs> you basically, you just want, if you don't get Ondel on the field as fast as possible, you at least want a Gladiator Beast Monster and Test Tiger in your hand somehow, some way. If you get those in your hand, that's automatic Test Panther, which is facilitating your combo. Two one of Extenders, Reborn, or Legacy Secession. Uh, I mean, they're extenders. That's all there is to it. Alright. That's it for the main deck. Uh, in a few weeks, I will be putting the Tri-Brigade engine to work in this. I do have the Tri-Brigade cards prepared. I do have the complete engine, but I do have, like, I want to do a complete profile of the Tri Brigade, or as I call them, the Glad Brigades. Uh, like, I want a side deck and everything. So, just wait for that profile. It is mean, but to continue with this deck, let's get into the extra one.
Okay guys, extra deck's gonna consist of the card that makes Ondel, two Ondel in your hand, not break. Link Spider. Link Spider, Link 1, use any one normal monster. Ondel's normal. So you link Ondel into Link Spider. Link Spider's effect is you can special summon any normal monster from your hand. Any one, I'll read it just to make sure. Once per turn, you can special summon one level four or lower normal monster from your hand to his on this points to. So, link summon, special summon, test ban. It's not a brick. Link spider, very good in this day. I run one Nightmare Phoenix because it's back row hate. This card, this deck only has really four cards that can destroy back row. But one of them has to be special summon from the deck. The other one has to be special summon from the extra deck. But this is just two monsters with different names. So if you don't have, if you cannot go into Test Panther for a turn, you can pop a back row. Two Test Panther. Test Panther is your main link summon in this deck. If you, if an opponent stops Test Panther uh, in pure Glad Beasts, you're you're dead. Like if you stop the, the the second effect of Test Panther, but Test Panther's first effect when he is link when he is link summoned, special summoned, let's say link summoned, you search any one Gladiator Beast card from your deck to your hand. Typically, your search will be come back, so you can revive what's in the grave to use its second effect. Second effect is basically it, it automatically tags out whatever Gladiator Beast you have on the field, so you don't have to do battle phase. Basically, you. Test Panther effect target Ondale. Ondale to the deck, bring out Bistari. Bistari effects goes off and pops something back around. That's Test Panther's second effect. If the opponent stops that, this deck is. It stops that turn. S'more Bird of Sovereignty. This sets up your uh, Wind Lock. Not Winda? Wind. Um, get barrier statues on the field and. Make your opponent waste a uh, waste battle phase. Also, this deck runs two Bissaris, so when um, they end their turn after they waste their battle phase, you can special some Bissari out to your side of the field and try to play from there. Uh, in the Tri-Brigade variant of this deck, this card is a monster. I never, I never realized it how good this card is in that version, but it's very good. We'll, we'll, we'll go through that on that profile. One Boral Sword. I mean, Boral Sword wins. That's all there is to it. Alright, now on to the fusions. Two Gladiator Beast Tamer Editors. Tamer Editors is your cheat card in this deck. This is your I win button. Uh, requires two level five or higher Glad Beasts. We don't run but three over level fives in our main deck but a torix can adjust itself which is very useful best thing about this card is its second effect well, its main effect is once per turn let me rephrase that when this card is on the field I'll read it I'll read it it's complicated okay we'll leave one there I'll read this one out loud this card can't be able to use as fused materials. This is once once per turn, you can summon special summon one Gladiator Beast Fusion Monster from your extra deck, except Tamer Editor, ignoring its summon conditions. Right? It is not hard once per turn, so you can use Tamer Editor to bring out your your Domitianus. I run two of those. Link away your Tamer Editor. Right? Use Gladiator Beast Comeback or Monster Reborn to bring back your Tamer Editor and use its effect again. I mean, that, then you can special something like Heraclinos. So, that's how good, that's how good Tamer Editor is. Tamer Editor is one, it's, it's all in button. Okay, we'll go over Heraclinos. So we're in one Heraclinos. Here, Klinos uh, is probably one of the best of the deck. I got super rare because I'm poor. 
I don't want to spend big money on cards with mind the secret or the ultimate but whatever anyway Heraclanos is once per turn is it once per turn? I don't think it's once per turn it is not once per turn you can discard from your hand to negate the activation of a spell or trap card and destroy it so it's not once per turn so if your opponent activates a spell card or trap card you can negate it however many cards you have in your hand 3000 beater good card all right and back to the two Domitianus Domitianus is one of the newer ones I mean this couple of years ago but it's three three thousand five hundred attack 3500 his main effect is you control the battle phase so if your opponent wants to attack over your test Patrick who's got 800 attack you can control which one he attacks. Uh, his second effect is if a uh, monster effect is activated, negate it, destroy. Choose your timing wisely. But those are the those are the two boss monsters. Well, yeah, Heraclitus and Domitianus, two boss monsters. Well, I run two Geyseris. Geyseris is a free pop, or two two free pops. You use special summon Geyseris to your side of the field. And you can destroy two cards on the field. Doesn't matter whose side. You can destroy up to two cards. Very good card. He is used with one Glad Beast and Vistari. So, another reason why we run two Vistaris. Uh, ultimate rare for the deck. Yay, ultimate. Um, Gladiator Beast. I can't pronounce this. It's Isidari, I think it is. Uh, he has no effect. He's, he, well, he has an effect, but. This card can only be special summoned extra deck by sending above cards to the deck. So it's, it's contact fusion. That's the effect. I mean, it's not really an effect, but it's an effect. Reason why we play him, this is why I was, going, why I was discussing Darius earlier, is Darius can special summon from the from the graveyard. But, like, if you use Test Panther to send to the Greg, uh, to tag out, and you have Darius in your hand, and you bring out Augustus, Augustus special summons to Darius, right? Darius will then trigger special summon from the grave. It's two level fours. This dude just takes two Gladiator Beast monsters, he's level five. That gets you to your Tamer Editor play. So if you go to Tamer Editor, this shuffles back into the back into the deck. And your Darius and your Graveyard monster are back into the deck as well. So he is uh, recurrable. And the spice, the spice of this Gladiator Beast deck, because Dragoon's a thing, and he's a bitch. Dingirsu. Dingirsu is the most unexpected card in this deck. He's non-targeting removal, and the only two cards in your deck that will special summon to him work with each other. Tamer Editor, and Hair Cleanups. So, if you can get Tamer Editor on the field, you get Dingir soon, you can remove Dragoon. For those who hate Dragoon, like me. Uh, but, that's pure Glad Beast, apart from the Dingirsu. I don't really think that counts because it's a uh, removal. But, if you like the profile, thumbs up on the channel or video, whatever. Subscribe. My, my boy Reaper wants subscribers. I'm gonna pitch it this time. Subscribe, like the video, share, do all the bull crap. If you got Gladiator Beast questions, ask. I like Gladiator Beast. This is my favorite deck of all time. Uh, Glad Brigade coming next week, maybe. We'll see what happens when uh, my extra deck stuff gets here. Till then, peace.